Number 12, George Tickner, a resonating rhythm in the world of rock. George Tickner, co-founder and original guitarist for the rock band Journey, passed away at the age of 76 on July 5th. Tickner, along with Schoon and bassist Ross Valerie, started their journey with Journey in 1973 in San Francisco, establishing a sound that would resonate with millions. Prior to founding Journey, Tickner was a member of the psychedelic rock band Frumius Bandersnatch, sharing the stage with his friend and future Journey co-member Valerie. In his initial years with Journey, Tickner contributed significantly as a rhythm guitarist and songwriter for the band's first three albums. The band's success was profound, selling over 100 million albums worldwide. Their hits Don't Stop Believin', Open Arms, Who's Crying Now, and Separate Ways have left an indelible mark on the world of rock, securing their place in the Billboard Hot 100. Despite leaving Journey after the release of its eponymous debut album in 1975 to pursue a career in medicine, Tickner's influence was firmly established. He continued to perform as a hobby while securing a full scholarship at Stanford Medical School. In January 2005, Tickner joined other band members to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a testament to his contribution to the iconic band. George Tickner's legacy as a co-founder of one of the most influential rock bands of our time remains in the heart of rock music. His passion for music and dedication to creating resonating rhythms will be remembered. Tributes to George Tickner. You're watching Immortal News. To show your support, please kindly click the like button. Number 11, Mario Dumoal, a resonating voice in entertainment reporting. Mario Dumoal, veteran reporter, passed away at the age of 64 due to complications from a heart attack on July 5th. Known for his passionate reporting and distinct voice, Dumoal carved a niche for himself in the bustling world of entertainment news. Beginning his career in the early 80s, Dumawal dedicated more than four decades to delivering stories with charm and wit that encapsulated the essence of entertainment news. He was a trusted figure, providing reliable insights into the world of celebrities, films, music, and television. His career was marked by integrity and dedication, setting the benchmark high for budding entertainment reporters. Dumawal had a unique ability to bridge the gap between celebrities and their fans, bringing them closer together through his insightful and respectful interviews. More than just a reporter, Dumawal was a storyteller. His vivid reporting painted a comprehensive picture of the entertainment industry for his audience, allowing them to experience the excitement and dynamism of the world behind the spotlight. Dumawal's work extended beyond the realm of entertainment. He was known for his philanthropic efforts, often using his platform to raise awareness about various social causes, his compassionate nature was mirrored in his reporting, making him a beloved figure amongst his peers and the public. Mario Dumawal's passing leaves a void in the entertainment reporting world, but his legacy continues to inspire upcoming journalists. His life serves as a testament to the power of passion, dedication, and compassion in journalism. Tributes to Mario Dumawal Number 10, Eva Maria Daniels, a dynamic force in independent cinema. Eva Maria Daniels, the influential producer behind celebrated independent films like Reality, What Maisie Knew, passed away on June 30th after a brave battle with cancer at the age of 43. Daniels attended the University of Iceland and further honed her craft at KBH Film and Photoscoli, earning a degree in film production in 2003. Since her career began in 2009, she passionately pursued her love for cinema, contributing to films that resonated with audiences and critics alike. From her first TV production credit in 2009 on the series POV to her recent work as the executive producer of the Berlin Film Festival selection Reality, Daniel's career was marked by an acute intelligence, fierce dedication, and a knack for nurturing artists. 
She held long-standing partnerships with producer Riva Marker and A24, proving her indispensable value in the industry. Her film What Maisie Knew, a modern adaptation of Henry James's 1897 novel starring Julianne Moore, Steve Coogan, and Alexander Skarsgård, notably played at the Toronto Film Festival. Her collaborative endeavors with renowned actors like Richard Gere and Mark Wahlberg on features such as Time Out of Mind, The Dinner, and Joe Bell are emblematic of her significant contributions to cinema. Daniels lived life on her terms, seeking neither recognition in success nor pity in suffering, leaving a remarkable legacy of her singular vision and resilience. Her legacy continues to pour in, acknowledging a life dedicated to the art of cinema and a spirit that will be deeply missed. Tributes to Ava Maria Daniels. Number 9. Don Reinhout, a titan of strength and a legend of powerlifting. Don Reinhout tragically passed away in a car crash at the age of 78 on July 5th. Reinhout, a renowned strongman, held the prestigious title of 1979's World's Strongest Man and was a perennial figure in the realm of powerlifting. At a commanding height of 6 feet 3 inches, Reinhout began his illustrious career in the early 70s. From 1973 to 1976, he dominated the International Powerlifting Federation's Men's World Powerlifting Championship, becoming a four-time champion. He further bolstered his reputation by securing the AAU U.S. National Powerlifting Championship from 74 to 76. In 1978, Reinhardt ventured into the world's strongest man competition, seizing second place in his debut. Undeterred by this near miss, he returned the following year and clinched the coveted title, etching his name into the annals of powerlifting as the second man ever to win this esteemed competition. Over the course of his extraordinary career, Reinhardt set dozens of records, cementing his status as a true legend of the sport. His remarkable contributions were recognized in 2018 when he was inducted into the National Strength and Power Hall of Fame. His legacy of strength and determination, combined with his gentlemanly demeanor, will continue to inspire generations of athletes. Tributes to Don Reinhardt. Number 8. Zacelso Martinez, a revolutionary voice in Brazilian theater. Zacelso Martinez Correa, the Brazilian dramatist, director, actor, and scenographer, known for his extraordinary and audacious approach to theater, passed away on July 6th at the age of 86. Zacelso was celebrated for his experimental political and sensory art that consistently dialogued with the era and other art forms, including music, poetry, and visual media. His pioneering contributions beginning in the late 1950s with plays like Vento Forte para Papagaio Subir and A Incubadeira changed the landscape of Brazilian theater. Zicelso was more than a theater maker. He was a disruptor, creating a more immersive and sensory theater experience. He was fearlessly experimental, blending reality with the cultural and political dynamics of the country. His innovations led to the creation of Teatro, a movement that reshaped the relationship between the stage and audience, encouraging actors to improvise and audiences to actively participate. In June 2023, Zacelso married his longtime partner, Marcelo Drummond. His personal and professional lives were marked by resilience, illustrated by his return to Brazil after an imposed exile during the military regime in 1974. Zacelso's six-decade-long journey with Teatro Oficina leaves an indelible legacy in the arts. His fearless spirit, his commitment to the craft, and his ceaseless advocacy for innovation in theater will continue to inspire generations of artists. Tributes to Zicelso Martinez. Number 7. Attila Aboni, 
a pillar of Australian soccer and pioneer of the 1974 World Cup, Attila Aboni, eminent soccer legend, who passed away at the age of 76 on July 5th. A stalwart of Australian football, Aboni was a part of the historic 1974 Socceroo squad that competed in the country's first World Cup. Aboni moved to Melbourne at the age of 10 after the 1956 Hungarian uprising. He went on to enjoy a remarkable 18-year club career, during which he scored 25 goals in 61 games for Australia, ranking him as the nation's fifth highest goal scorer. Aboni made his mark initially with Melbourne, Hungary, guiding them to their first Victorian First Division title in 1967. His hat trick led the club to win the 1967 Australia Cup against Sydney's Apia, an achievement that cemented his legacy in Australian soccer. In 1969, Aboni joined Sydney club St. George Budapest, where he played for seven years, contributing to their three grand finals and two minor premiership victories. He was a significant part of the renowned Triple AA St. George forward line. Aboni was a pivotal member of the Socceroos in their campaign for the 1974 World Cup in West Germany. After retiring, he transitioned to coaching, including a stint with Sydney, Croatia, and Canberra City in the National Soccer League. Remembered as elegance and artistry personified by Australian football journalist Andrew Detra, Aboni leaves behind a legacy that will resonate in the history of Australian football for generations to come. Tributes to Attila Aboni. Mickey Lukonen, a brilliant beacon in Finnish literature. Mickey Lukonen, one of the shining lights of the Finnish literary scene, passed away unexpectedly on July 5th at the tragically young age of 33. The cause of death has not been disclosed. Emerging as a prodigious talent, Lukonen crafted three poetry collections, a unique picture book for adults, and five deeply engaging novels. His literary prowess was recognized early on, with his debut poetry collection, Valkoisia Runoja, earning a nomination for the prestigious Helsingin Sanomat Prize. His expansive novel, O, a labyrinthine narrative featuring over a hundred characters, received a nomination for Finland's most distinguished literary honor, the Finlandia Prize. Lukanen's writing was celebrated for its experimental qualities, blending international literary styles with a masterful grasp of the Finnish language. His narratives, populated by vividly drawn obsessive characters, were hailed for their extravagant metaphor and astute social commentary. Beyond his literary accomplishments, Lukanen was also a guitarist in the band The Scenes and hosted a popular TV program. Known for his openness about his mental health struggles, Lukanen was a staunch advocate for mental health awareness. Mickey Lukanen have been flowing in with Finland's culture minister Sari Multala expressing her deep condolences. His untimely death is a tremendous loss, but Liukkanen's extraordinary work and brave advocacy ensure that his legacy will endure. Tributes to Mickey Liukkanen. Number five, Ralph Lundston a pioneering presence in electronic music. Ralph Lundston, Swedish composer, a pioneering figure in the realm of electronic music, passed away at the age of 86 on July 5th. An avant-garde maestro, Lundston worked closely with Finnish designer and artist Erki Kuriniemi, shaping the contours of music and sound experimentation. Lundston was one of the first in Sweden to engage with concrete sound materials, collage, and other electroacoustic forms of music, marking his work with distinct innovation and exploration. He was a key figure in the Electron Music Studio in Stockholm during the early 1960s, where he experimented with sound compositions resulting in notable works such as the 1966 album Electron Music Studio Documentation 1. He also built his own Andromeda studio, where he crafted more than 700 pieces of music ranging from short jingles to elaborate symphonies. Lundston's work often intertwined with his fascination for New Age themes, 
drawing inspiration from dreams, meditation, nature, and space. His significant works include a series titled Nordisk Nature Symphony, demonstrating his interest in cosmic elements. Lundsten also created the music for Ivo Kramer's ballet Gustav III and the theme for SR's Radio Sweden's Ut i Vida Varlden. Lundsten's music resonated with a unique voice that continues to inspire fans and musicians alike. His legacy in electronic music and his commitment to exploring the boundaries of sound will be remembered. Tributes to Ralph Lundsten. Number 4. Martin Stevens, a vibrant voice of Quebec's disco era. Martin Stevens, the Quebecois singer who carved his name in the disco epic of the late 70s, passed away on July 5th at the age of 69. Known for his enchanting tunes that captured the rhythmic essence of the era, Stevens was a prominent figure in both the Canadian and international music scene. Born as Roger Prudhomme in Verdun, Quebec, Stevens gained popularity outside his native land during the disco craze. His debut self-titled album in 1978 was notable for its French material, along with one exceptional piece, his beloved cover of Love is in the Air, originally released by Australian singer John Paul Young. The song was a tremendous success and earned Stevens a Juno Award nomination in 1979 for Best Selling Single. Continuing his journey of success, Stevens received another Juno nomination in 1980 for Midnight Music, the title track from his all-English album. In the same year, his musical prowess was recognized with nominations for Male Vocalist of the Year and Disco Album of the Year at the Ad Disc Awards. Stevens' musical legacy is also imprinted in his 2007 autobiography, Sexy, Drogue at Disco, which offers an introspective glimpse into his life and career. Martin Stevens' legacy as a disco star who transcended language barriers and ignited the dance floors with his vibrant tunes will continue to be celebrated. Tributes to Martin Stevens Number 3. Jan Sier Huis a colorful journey of expressionism and artistic mastery. Jan Sierhuis, the renowned artist and painter, passed away on July 4th evening at the age of 94 in Amsterdam. With a career spanning decades, Sierhuis left an indelible mark on the art world through his vibrant works and profound contributions to the Cobra movement. Sierhuis, described by Coaster as a colorful figure, shared a close bond with members of the Cobra movement, including Corneille, and Carol Appel. Appel, in fact, appreciated Sierhuis's talent to such an extent that he collected his artwork. However, the group considered Sierhuis too young to officially join their movement. His artistic repertoire encompassed paintings, guaches, sculptures, etchings, lithographs, and graphics. In 1998, the Stedelijk Museum in Amsterdam curated a significant exhibition in honor of Sierhuis's 70th birthday showcasing the breadth of his artistic vision. Twenty years later, in 2018, Sierhui celebrated his 90th birthday with an exhibition titled Head Atelier van Jan Sierhuis at the Jan van der Tocht Museum in Amstelveen. The exhibition not only featured the artist's works, but also offered a glimpse into his creative process through photographs, old drawings, and other discoveries from his studio. Jan Sierhuis's legacy as an expressionist painter and member of the Cobra movement will endure, inspiring generations to come. His contributions to the art world, his ability to evoke emotion through vibrant colors and bold brushstrokes, and his dedication to his craft will forever be remembered. Tributes to John Sierhuis. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number 2. Dale Douglas, a golfing giant with a trailblazing legacy. 
Dale Douglas, an exceptional golfer who triumphed on the PGA Tour and the U.S. Senior Open, passed away after a long illness on July 6, 2022 at the age of 86. Douglas quickly rose to prominence in the golfing world, becoming the first University of Colorado golfer to play on the PGA Tour. His illustrious career spanned several decades, during which he won three times on the PGA Tour and represented the U.S. at the 1969 Ryder Cup. Notably, he was just the fifth player in history to participate in 500 tournaments, reaching this milestone in 2003. Douglas's post-50 success on the senior tour was phenomenal, earning him 11 victories, including a major triumph at the 1986 U.S. Senior Open, where he defeated Gary Player. His accomplishments earned him a spot in his alma mater's Athletic Hall of Fame in 2010. Despite his tremendous success, Douglas never lost sight of his roots. He was a proud native of Fort Morgan, Colorado, and a devoted alumnus of the University of Colorado. His close friend and fellow golfer, Hale Irwin, remembers him as a mentor and friend whose commitment to golf was unsurpassed. Douglas's lasting impact on the sport he loved is a testament to his skill, resilience, and dedication. He is preceded in death by his wife, Joyce, with services to be held in Colorado Springs. Remember him as a consummate professional and gracious gentleman whose enduring legacy will continue to inspire future generations of golfers. Tributes to Dale Douglas. Number one. Joe Porcaro, a resounding beat in music history. Joe Porcaro, esteemed drummer and percussionist, breathed his last on July 6, 2020, at the age of 90. His life was a symphony, resonating through decades of music, influencing some of the most iconic albums by Madonna, Boz Skaggs, Glenn Campbell, Barbara Streisand, Rosemary Clooney, and Lalo Schifrin. His contribution to the music industry cannot be overstated, but his most celebrated legacy is perhaps his three sons, Steve, Jeff, and Mike, co-founders of the renowned band, Toto. Porcaro's mastery of percussion can be heard in Toto's 1982 Grammy-winning album, Toto 4, and especially on their signature song, Africa, where he performed the bass marimba part. His dedication to his craft proved inspirational to his sons and enriched their music, a testament to the talent that ran in the Porcaro family. The passing of this beloved patriarch was announced by his son Steve in a heartfelt message that illustrated Joe's immense influence on his family and the music world. Joe's indomitable spirit resonates beyond his passing as he outlived two of his sons, Jeff and Mike, whose memory he continued to honor through music. His loss is profoundly felt, but his rhythm continues to beat in the hearts of those who knew him and through the music he helped shape. Tributes to Joe Porcaro We kindly ask you to honor the lives of these remarkable individuals by showing your support and appreciation. Please like this video and continue watching as we pay respect to the legacies they've left behind.